Did it again. Son of a gun. Loose freaking dry shaft. I don't believe it. There's the oil. What the hell? There's my freaking vibration. I don't believe those bolts. There it is. I've been stirring up some epoxy while I talked to piss on jack scrap, so I put a couple layers of epoxy in that hole. Let me try to zoom in. That's epoxy, so I'll put the last glob on. And this is a different brand of epoxy. It's uh, some green crap. Fancy package. The last one was leaking a bit. That's it. You just fold it into the inside after you spray it with carb cleaner to clean it. Then I sanded it last time. I could see the grind marks. So got to get a thermostat tomorrow and fill this up and get some new bolts. And uh, look at that friggin' salt on the pan and the exhaust and top. To Oh, too cold in here to make a video. I got the heat turned on, but it's too cold. So I've got to come along, pulling back the output of the transfer case tight enough to friggin' bust it off. So that I could try and line up the bolts. I've been doing a bunch of work here. I got the transmission supports or the, yeah, the transmission. Transmission transfer case adapter supports removed because one bolt was missing, just fell out. Sounds familiar. So there's the bolt that I removed. And I got some new bolts somewhere. Somewhere I got some new bolts. Grade 8. Anyhow, so I had to heat up this one. I removed the bolt. And now, because the hole on the passenger side isn't big enough, I can't line up the transfer case adapter. So I've been prying on it. I got the come along. That's what I've been doing with the come along. Got the come along wrapped around a chain, wrapped around the body, support. Then I'm pulling on the transfer case to try to get the alignment right. And this is really annoying me. And it's cold here, and I still haven't got it right. Look at that. Won't thread in. I can crank on it a bit. Then I got to jack it up. And then it hits the uh, hump. And then it pulls it down. And blah. So what I'm going to do? See the elongated hole. That's the support. Goes in there somehow, whatever. It's a cold drive shaft. Epoxy repair. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the torch and I'm going to elongate that hole where my finger is right there. I'm going to elongate that hole. See? I'm going to make it big like this one so that I can get the bolt in and put this thing back together and get out of here. It's too cold. Even though I got my furnace going, I got no insulation in the ceiling. <sighs> what a mess. Hate this weather. Salted like french fries. Roasted. Get your marshmallows. <laughs> well, I got the hole enlarged. And uh, it's roasted toasted. Oh, this is so much fun. Don't you wish you could be here with me? Well, thanks to my buddy, piss on jap crap. <laughs> what a crazy name. I'm going to drop the cross member so I can mount, put my mount bolts in because the cross member's got to go back or the transfer case has to go forward. And it's not going forward, so I'll move the transfer case back. Don't raise the bridge. Lower the river. I already torched that hole out a little bigger, but uh, this chain come along business and uh, the salt and everything is making me crazy. All right. We'll fix her up. Piece of junk. Drawing. Drip. Now just let it go Drip. and just keep the likeness Drip. going. Drip. Well, I got the passenger side loose. And uh, look at this. Whee! Lots of alignment space now. Well, I'll fix her up. Took a grand total of two minutes to do it. <laughs> no rust. For now. Drip. Well. As you know, I disconnected the 
transmission support, cross member, transfer case support. And I got this bolt in that had been rusted to heat it up to remove it. And I just got this one in, which is a really tight fit in the hole through the skid plate. This T ruck has the optional gas tank. Skid plates are pretty uncommon. But it didn't have the big mirrors. Dumb. Anyhow. Well, tighten her up. Look at that. Bolts been missing since who knows when. Just fell out. Now I got lock washers. See, lock washers. And grade 8 bolts. Crank her down. Grease on everything. So, thanks to piss on jack crap, number one. <laughs> I got my motivation back to put this thing together. <sighs> Gotta jack up the transmission. Give me some more light. Gotta jack up the transmission to get this jack out. Two jacks. So I got the spacers in between the frame and the cross member. Instead of above it, I don't know why they put that in. Maybe for optional whatever. And I'll do this side now and uh, that comes out. And I can lower this. Oh boy. After midnight. BBC News. And then I can put the spacers in over there. Cool, huh? So to get that bolt centered slightly in the skid plate, I'm going to crank on. Come along. Pull that over. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, crank it up. Luckily, it's not rusty. And by individual. Saga continues. Uh, so I got the uh, spacers in. And I've been jacking up and jacking up and jacking down to try to get these jacks out. So we'll let the last one down and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, finally, I get this hydraulic jack out. And I can check out my drive shaft exit angle from the transfer case, which has still got a bit of an angle. Yeah, yeah. There's the back one. Pretty straight. With my big spacers and my shims. Double shims. So I drop this an inch, but it adds up to maybe an inch and a half at the back because it's a continued parallax error, whatever. Look at the friggin' salt and sand gripping. Grip. 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 Uh, salsa dancing 75 year old grandmother. BBC News? Jerry Spitz? Filled her up with that big nut there. Oh, gosh. Greased up everything. And a little slide out. Oh. <sighs> oh yeah, five Canadian soldiers, a journalist from Calgary. It's terrible. Terrible, 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 terrible. Go see the movie Brothers. You'll understand what this conflict is all about and the pain it inflicts on families. All right. Like it's, uh, and up. 12.30 after midnight. Yep. Midnight man. The other men All right, we're all done for the night. Tools are half put away. Cross members dropped. I hope I'm doing the right thing. Oh. Oh, this is what I need. Look at the friggin' time. Almost 1 a.m. I need a lift and not a four post. 
four posts is good for oil change or uh, wheel alignment. What I need is a, there's a four post, sorry. Oh, it's late, like I said. <laughs> Almost one o'clock in the morning. Uh, what I need is a symmetric asymmetric. We got some more somewhere here in this fancy Napa catalog. Waste oil furnaces, free heat. All these fancy things. Makes you wonder how you live without them. Air compressors. I got one of those. Yep, symmetric, asymmetric. So you can put a truck up or a car and be able to open the doors. Page three. I thought they had more. Service tools, hand tools. Ah, oh, it's too late to be playing. Good night. There we go. Lifting. Best, better, good, junk. China, Texas, they're made all over the place. Copies, factories, I don't know. All right, I better put my water bottle in the basement. <laughs> well, yeah, it's after one o'clock. Time to close up shop, literally. Night blazer. Anyhow, once every 20 or so years, if you listen to the news like I do, on New Year's Eve, which is tomorrow night, you get what is called a blue moon. And Elvis Presley sang about it, but he might have taken the song from somebody else. Blue moon over Kentucky keeps on rising. It ain't Kentucky, but uh, there it is. Blue moon. <laughs> Full moon on New Year's Eve almost, which is tomorrow.